From 1984, this is Pitfall for the Atari 5200 from Activision. I think many of us are probably more familiar with the Atari 2600 game cartridge. And you may notice right away that the 5200 version does have some graphical enhancements, although not very many. In general, Pitfall for the 5200 is nearly identical to the 2600 version, as far as I can tell. Hooray, a bar of soap! If I had to choose between the 5200 game cartridge for Pitfall and the Atari 2600 version, I'm going 2600 with this one. Because of the controls. I'm pretty sure I just jumped right back out of the water there. Games that require precision button pushing and precision movement are frequently twitchy with the stock 5200 controller. And a game like Pitfall, where you have an excellent alternative with the Atari 2600 game cartridge, is best played where you can find the best controller. The Atari 5200 is capable of producing better graphics and sound, but Pitfall is, is Pitfall. This game is not going to be better if, if you slightly improve the graphics and you can hear that there's really not much sound work in this game. Stick with the 2600 game cartridge. I wish that it would make that sound when I jumped. I would jump all the time. Over logs and snakes. If for some reason you've never played Pitfall, I'll give you the quick uh, 30 second description here. You start with 20 minutes on the timer and 2,000 points if you get eaten by alligators or fall into a pit. You lose a life. When you hit logs, you lose points. When you collect bars of gold and other valuables, you gain points. Pitfall is regarded as a classic. It's a very popular game and spawned many, many sequels. I find the original to be slightly boring. I really prefer Pitfall 2 for the Atari 2600. Pitfall the Mayan Adventure on Sega Genesis is also an excellent game. But if you like this game and you push yourself and practice at it, you can try to cruise through it as fast as possible, taking more risks. If for some reason you've been eyeing up the Atari 5200 game cartridge, thinking it might be a dramatic improvement over the 2600 game, think again. Spend that money on something that really does shine on the 5200, like the Dreadnought Factor or Buck Rogers' Planet of Zoom. I like how the logs roll right through the water. They're not even slowed down. What would life be like if each time you walked from one side of a screen to another, you'd appear on another screen? And there'd be new obstacles to face. It would be like leaving one room and entering a new room with a bunch of logs rolling at you. And a bonfire that you have to jump over. Unless, of course, you go to jump and your button sticks, in which case you then fall into the fire and lose a life. Maybe challenges like this are best left to video games. I would be pissed if I had to play my life with the 5200 controller. You couldn't make it to work in the morning because you know you'd be driving in using your 5200 controller to play your life and then it would stick to the left and then you'd go crashing into some other car and when you tried to break your button would stick and then accelerate. After you exploded into a giant pixelated ball of fire, you would then try to start the game over, except your start key wouldn't work. <laughs> 